Let's try that one more time. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the first generation graduation ceremony. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Can you all hear me in the back? Oh, great. I have a very engaging audience today. This is going to be a great ceremony. So again, good evening. I'm the first generation project manager, Adan Hussein, and it is my pleasure to serve as the MC today. Thank you all for coming. As you may already know, we refer okay, I'm gonna turn that off. We refer to first generation students as trailblazers on this campus. They have overcome many hurdles. They have struggled, especially recently as you finish up finals or finish finals, which I hope many of you are there. But it's okay if you're not, I get it. 
And now you're here having accomplished one of the most important milestones of your lives. Today is this day of celebration and gratitude. We have a great lineup of speakers who are going to frame this day for you. At our ceremony, we invite a long-standing advocate of first-generation students. We invite a student leader among first-generation students, and our keynote speaker is chosen by students for their story of leadership and success. Supporting first-generation students is a community movement, and I'd like to thank some of our supporters. I want to thank the first-generation college students at Michigan, FGCS, which is our premier first-generation student organization on campus, our Office of Academic Multicultural Initiatives, the Office of New Student Programs, the Multi-Ethnic Student Affairs Office, and the Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, all of whom have provided support and resources for programs like these. Can we help me give me a round of applause to these offices? So of those speakers, I'd like to introduce Dr. Robert Sellers, Vice Provost for Equity, Inclusion, and Chief Diversity Officer and the Charles D. Moody Collegiate Professor of Psychology and Education. You know they're well accomplished when they have a really long title. <laughs> Dr. Sellers is a long-standing advocate for first-generation students. He was once an activist at U of M's campus and has continued to support underrepresented communities in his academic and professional careers. He is a past president of the Society for Psychological Study of Ethnic Minority Issues. He is a fellow of the Association for Psychological Science. Rob has a background in teaching and research and has received significant recognition for his work. As chief diversity officer, he leads the campus to create a positive campus climate no matter the person's background. He is here to welcome you all to this ceremony and please help me invite him to the stage. Good evening, everyone. So am I, am I in the right place? Is this not a celebration of graduation? Is this not the first gen graduation celebration? Good evening. Thank you. I am so, so pleased to be here this evening. Um, I want to personally welcome the family, friends, as well as members of the university community, and the class of 2019, the first generation graduation, uh, to the first generation graduation celebration here at the University of Michigan. Uh, I also want to take this opportunity to thank the many people who worked very hard to uh, make sure that uh, this year's celebration is outstanding and memorable and uh, uh, is worth the wait for those of you who are graduates today. In particular, I want to thank the Office of Academic Multicultural uh, Initiatives, or WAMI, for their hard work and dedication in uh, making this wonderful event happen, and obviously many others who I'll talk about in a moment. Uh, like Adon, this evening I want to focus my very, very brief, what I hope to be brief, uh, remarks around the concept of trailblazers. Uh, in many ways, I believe that the concept of tra trailblazers is the most relevant term to our graduates today. If you look in the dictionary under trailblazers, you find a number of uh, synonyms, including pioneers, explorers, and innovators. And while all of these uh, uh, terms apply to our graduates, they're also lacking in some very important ways. And perhaps the most important way is unlike those other terms, trailblazers, by definition, assumes not only that we're talking about individuals who have boldly gone where no one else has gone before, first and only Star Trek reference of the evening, but they also 
have done so with the goal of leading others to follow their paths. In other words, they're not just the first, but they are definitely not the last. And when I think of trailblazers, and particularly trailblazers on this campus, uh, one person in particular comes to mind, and that's Dwight Lang. In many, 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 many different ways, Dwight has been a trailblazer for first-generation students on this campus. He, along with several other faculty and staff and uh, administrators, many of them first generation themselves, college students themselves, recognized the need to recognize, support, and ultimately celebrate the experiences and the success of our first generation students. Ten years ago, Dwight began to create a first-generation community here at the University of Michigan. In fact, the very first first-generation graduation ceremony at the University of Michigan was held at his house with less than 10 students. Since then, the first-generation student organization membership has grown from 10 members to over 800 members. With Dwight and others' helpful guidance and support, two years ago we hired Adan Hussein, a full-time first-generation manager. During that time, last fall, we introduced the very first first-generation gateway, both in an effort to build community amongst you, the trailblazers, on our campus. The community dinners held previously at Dwight's home grew ten times their size over the years. We had, we had our first first-gen week last fall to provide space across campus Now, if you look around, ooh. thank you. So now, if you compare that wonderful turnout to this year's turnout, where we have more than 200 graduating students participating in our celebration. That's right. Just imagine what next year will hold. And perhaps we might have to be in the big house before it's all done. <laughs> so now I want to briefly return to the theme of trailblazers. It's important to understand that a trailblazer can never, ever be successful if she or he has not been prepared for the journey or task at hand. In many ways, our parents, our grandparents, older siblings have set a foundation upon which we currently stand and by which many of you started this journey 
four or five or sometimes even more years ago. In many ways, they sacrificed and strove to provide you with every educational opportunity that they could. So I'd like for all of our graduates to please take a second and stand. And now I would like for all of our parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, older siblings who are here in support to please stand. And for just, please stand. And now, would my, our graduates and just our graduates for a moment, please turn and salute them and congratulate them and thank them for all the support that they provided you. Thank you. It is also important to understand with respect to trailblazers that they must also have someone to follow them. If not, they still have accomplished a great deal, and in this case, in graduating from the University of Michigan, but that accomplishment becomes slightly diminished. So graduates, I challenge you to make sure that you inspire and support the next generation of your family to an opportunity for a college education. You've earned it through your own efforts as trailblazers. Oftentimes, when folks talk about being the first generation graduate student, the, the focus begins with the burden. Sort of a sense of coming on a campus this large, this crazy, that doesn't feel like it necessarily was designed for you, and having this sense of not really knowing what one doesn't know. There's an assumption that if there's something that you don't know, that everybody else must know it. And that somehow, because I'm a first generation student, there's information out there that I didn't get that others did. That's a scary, lonely feeling. Sometimes a feeling that leads one to think and feel like an outsider. There's also the added pressure oftentimes that first generation students will talk about in terms of the expectations of everyone wanting to make sure that you succeed, that you carry the expectations of an entire family and in many cases across many generations of an entire family on you as you've come to the university. And I believe that all of these experiences are true, and true in some way, shape, or form uh, to, to many of us in the audience today. But they're not what defines what first-generation students are about. That's just one small part of it. What many of you may not have known, and some of you discovered along the way, is that in many ways you had an actual advantage over most of the other students that weren't first generation here. That first and foremost, you were never ever alone. So even though it may have felt like you had an added burden and that burden was kind of weighing on you, there were also times when those same expectations and same hopes and dreams were the things that got you up when if you didn't have them, you wouldn't have had the things that made possible what seemed like was impossible. Being a first generation student also means that unlike far too many of your other colleagues and students, you came here with an inherent purpose. 
So some students, unfortunately, spend a lifetime searching for a purpose, spend a whole lot of money on therapy and other kinds of things to find that purpose. But you came with a purpose. And that purpose was something that was bigger than yourself. And by having that purpose, again, in many ways, you came here much stronger than other students without that purpose. So what I really have come to say is we are so very, very proud of you that your presence here at the university, we know, will make your life better. That's what a college education does. And a college education from a place like the University of Michigan will give you more opportunities in life than otherwise. But I want you to leave here knowing also that the University of Michigan is a better place because you chose to come here. That you have made our university a better place. And I also want you to know that no matter how you felt at any point in your time here, I want you to always know that this is your university. No one, this university belongs to no one more than it belongs to you. And I hope you will always feel that this university is your home and that you are part of its legacy and that your family will see this as a place that is part of your family's legacy. So in closing, class of 2019, I want to congratulate you for a job well done. And always remember, forever go blue. Dr. Sellers, one more round of applause. <laughs> next, I have the pleasure of introducing our next speaker, which is Gabriela Paniagua. <laughs> yeah. Gabby is the outgoing president of the student organization, First Generation College Students at Michigan, that I mentioned earlier. Gabby majored, is majoring, you're done? Okay, almost. Almost is majoring in political science and communications, but we know she's gonna be done. And she hopes to pursue law school. In the two years I've gotten to know Gabby, she has impressed me with her breadth of involvement on campus while also balancing her academic responsibilities. She has a fiery, no-nonsense personality, as some of you might know. And in the time I've gotten to know Gabby, she has used that spirit to work hard and elevate the standard of FGCS. And she made sure that first gens and their needs were represented across campus. She is an advocate and a true tra trailblazer. And knowing her, I'm confident that she will one day have her JD. Please help me welcome your student speaker, Gabby Paniagua. Hi, everyone. It's true, everything he said. <laughs> so good evening, proud parents, friends, staff, and faculty. Today we are here to honor the immense triumph of all the graduates in the room. Um, so I won't make you stand up, but please raise your hand if you're a, a first generation graduate. All right. We'll keep them up, keep them up. Now please raise your hand if you once were a first generation graduate. A few more. I see them in the back too. Okay. 
Now look around everyone. It's pretty brilliant to see everyone, all these first generation graduates in one room. Let's give everyone a round of applause. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Gabriela Paniagua, and I'm currently one paper and one exam away from being the first in my family to graduate from college. Thank you. That shouldn't be right. You know, I should be done by now, but it's okay. So my parents were born in Mexico, where poverty forced them to leave school before they could make it a high school. Later, with my older sister already born, they decided uh, that leaving poverty would be the best solution. And so they immigrated to the United States to provide my siblings and I the opportunities that they never had. I grew up on the south side of Chicago in a low-income neighborhood. Our family struggled, but somewhere, I hear you, along the way, my parents instilled in us that education, education would be the path that would lead us out of our struggles. Despite this, I didn't fully understand the weight that my identities would carry at Michigan. Before Michigan, I was never called the first gen. It was not an identity I was familiar with. It was not until I was filling out applications that I, I was labeled as such. My first year here, I knew I was a first gen, but I didn't fully understand the barriers I would need to overcome to be where we are today. As a first generation student, we were told that we would fail that we didn't belong, but we stand here having proved them all wrong. Yep. <laughs> As I would later learn, my first generation identity would become central to my experience at Michigan. Being a first generation student went from being something that outed me as different to being something that I used to empower myself and others. Being first gen carried a lot of weight for me, so I wanted to sh I want to share with you all what parts of me, what that part of me meant as I navigated my four years. The transition from my background to campus, for me, like for many others, can be alienating. I remember being placed into a hall full of people that didn't look like me and feeling so little. Later, I understood that my identities as a Latina, as low income seemed to be magnified by my identity as a first-generation student. It seemed that everyone around me had no questions, they knew what they were doing, and they just had things figured out. We all had to overcome ob obstacles to get where we are, and I wish I had understood that I do belong here. Wherever you go after graduation, whether that be law school, medical school, a job, please do understand that you do belong. Your identity as a first-generation student only highlights to the world that you are a trailblazer, but that you have achieved higher education when no one in your family had. We are persistent and resilient, but I know I speak for many of you when I say that we could not have done it without the support of our families, our friends, our mentors, and our communities. There were many instances during my time at Michigan where I felt like I was the only one struggling, but I found FGCS and other communities that upheld my identities and made me feel that made me feel othered. Our time here has taught us to be strong. We have ventured into higher education and made it. Being a first gen means you've blazed a trail for your family. We are all unique. Our struggles are beautiful. The obstacles we face are now learning lessons. With that, I wanna give a shout out to Adan and Oami for providing the first gen community a space for us to flourish, to be vulnerable, and to ask questions. Adan, you have been vital to the success of many first-generation initiatives, and as a member of this powerful community, we thank you. The work you do, hold it. <laughs> the work you do is so important. You not realize the impact you have on this campus, but more importantly, on the individuals who step foot into your office. Thank you for everything. Now, can we give them a round of applause? <laughs> Graduates, I'll leave you with a couple more words. As you continue to attend other ceremonies and enjoy your last days with some of your closest friends, understand that graduation as a first generation student is so powerful. You are all so powerful. Celebrate this and then continue blazing trails. Take pride in your success and reach higher. 
We have achieved something the stats told us we, that would not happen. We've navigated the complexities of this institution, and that is no small achievement. Congratulations, class of 2019. Thank you for those kind words, and thank you all. Um, sorry, I'm feeling a little emotional, so thank you. Um, it's now time that I introduce our keynote speaker, uh, Dr. Dean Hubbs. The students had selected Dean Hubbs to be the speaker today. When I reached out to her, we had done a bunch of research on her already. We were seeing her as a really good keynote speaker. But when I emailed her, I got an away message saying that she will be out um, until next fall. So I thought it would be unfortunate that we wouldn't have her join, but just a couple minutes afterward, she reached out to me and said that she'd be back in Ar Ann Arbor for a short while and will be here and wants to be here for the ceremony. So it is her spirit, yeah, we'll get to that too. It is her spirit that makes me so very excited to have her as part of the ceremony. She is an accomplished scholar she is a historian, theorist, musicologist, professor of women's studies and music, and faculty affiliate in American culture at U of M. What department are you not in? <laughs> in her teaching and scholarship, she studies how people marginalized by gender and sexuality, class, race, and immigration use music to navigate their worlds. She has published articles on classical country and pop music, including Morrissey, 1970s disco and Radiohead, and two award-winning books. Dr. Dean Dubs is a publicly engaged scholar whose research has been featured in The Guardian, LA Times, The Nation, New York Times, BBC, NPR, Pacifica Radio, and other outlets. She's quite accomplished, and I'm very excited to invite her onto the stage. Please help me in bringing her up. Thank you so much. Um, I'm not quite as tall as anyone else, it seems, but certainly not Provost Sellers. <laughs> um, Gabby is a tough act to follow, uh, and I, I will do my best. Good evening, everyone, friends, allies, families, given and chosen, and University of Michigan 2019 first gen graduates. It is such a pleasure and privilege to speak to you on this joyous occasion. Um, I want to thank Adam and I want to thank the student members of the First Gen Executive Board for inviting me. That is such a thrill to be invited by the students. Um, as Adon mentioned, nothing else this past year has managed to bring me back from my sabbatical except you. First gens, because the, the chance to speak to you on this day is such an honor and so important. So I, I know that you graduating students and families uh, have, have an ambitious schedule of partying ahead. So <laughs> I promise to keep my remarks brief. But in the spirit of this evening of celebration and reflection, I would like to take the opportunity to share some thoughts and experiences drawn from my work as teacher and mentor to hardworking, talented, and idealistic Michigan students over the past two decades. And my experiences too as a scholar, researcher, and writer. So I wanna start by congratulating all of you who managed to complete, not only complete a Michigan degree, but on top of that, to do so as a first gen student. I know personally the special challenges of being in the first generation of your family to go to college and complete a degree. But the graduates among us tonight also managed to do so at the greatest public university in the country. We are all so proud of you. 
for all of us this evening and in the next few days and weeks, this is a time to pause and recognize that each of you already has defied great odds and achieved remarkable things. If navigating and pursuing an education in this huge, sometimes intimidating, world-class university has at times felt like a marathon, then graduates, now is the time to exhale, breathe deep, and take a moment to look back over the distance you've traveled and to share some of the memories, sights, sounds around here and people from your time at Michigan with the family and friends who have supported you in reaching your goals. Thank you, family members, for your crucial love and support in countless forms without which these graduates' life-altering experience of a University of Michigan education might not have been possible. And thank you for sharing these students with us for four years or more. I know how important it is to feel support from even one person when you are out on a limb in pursuit of new experiences and knowledge on the questions, very tough questions, that we face in the world. And that's the challenge these graduates took on. As first-gen students, they braved new worlds in pursuit of higher knowledge. Um, Gabby spoke to that. Coming to University of Michigan as a first-gen student is coming to a new world. Um, and it can be a scary world. It takes a lot of courage. It takes persistence. They brought their, their questions. They brought their curiosity. They brought their knowledge and skills. They brought imagination and passion, stamina and commitment into this university. And they pursued their questions in a wide variety of classes, labs, campus organizations, theses, dissertations, independent and group projects. As a scholar, I've experienced this process many times over. When I wrote a, a thesis, a dissertation, many articles, several books, and still each time, frankly, I wonder if I'm going to get through it. I'm in the middle of a book now and I'm wondering if I'm going to survive it. <laughs> I especially wondered that a lot during the 10 years when I was researching and writing my last book. That project presented many challenges. First, I had decided to write a book in a field that I had never before worked in and was not trained in. What's more, that field did not exist. <laughs> not yet, anyway. I thought it should exist. I wanted to write about how socioeconomic class works in America. And I wanted to place my discussion in the humanities, not just the social sciences as usual, and in an updated frame suited to the globalized 21st century world we live in. So my first task was to find other scholars and researchers who were thinking and writing about similar questions so I could construct a bibliography, as you all have done, and read everything available in the relevant literature. This in itself took years. Finding useful sources was like a needle in a haystack since I had chosen to work in a field that did not yet exist. What's more, some people, high-placed and authoritative people, had made statements denying even the possibility that such a field should exist. Class, these folks said, was no longer a relevant or valid category of analysis. The notion had outlived its usefulness for understanding current social, political, and economic life in America. So how would I manage that challenge? The question haunted me. It kept me up at night, to tell you the truth. Then, there was the fact that as a musicologist and gender scholar, I plan to place these new class inquiries in the realms of my established expertise, which is 
always a good idea, except that there were precious few people engaging with questions of social class in music studies, and only slightly more in gender and sexuality studies. And in any case, how in the world would that work? How was I going to combine these three areas? I didn't know. Five or six years into the research, I started teaching a course at the intersection of my uh, three subjects. I homed in on a title, and I knew immediately it was the perfect title for my project. Rednecks, Queers, and Country Music. It was perfect. And sure enough, it stuck and ultimately became the title of my book. But once I dreamed up this title, it took me two or three more years to figure out how my book was going to join together these three seemingly irreconcilable elements that I announced in the title. I actually had no idea how that was going to work. In fact, it seemed a, a dubious proposition even to me. For some reason, I knew that was the book, but I didn't know how uh, I was going to pull that off. So I had plenty of things to keep me up at night, and they did. What was especially worrisome to me, though, had to do with my personal journey and my family history. A big reason I was interested in studying working class and middle class worlds and the differing assumptions and logics driving them, and again, I think Gabby uh, invoked this, was that I had grown up in one world and then over a number of years gradually moved and, and very effortfully moved into another world. And now, this project of mine threatened to destroy everything I had worked for. I was a Midwestern, small-town, working-class kid who had managed to become a tenured professor in an elite university. Throughout years of apprenticeship, I worked as kind of an undercover operative, carefully observing my new world, learning new codes in order to hide my truth, that is, that I was not from this place. And I had grown up using other knowledges and speaking other languages. Now with this book, I was about to out myself. I mean, I was out. <laughs> but I was about to out myself um, in a much scarier way. Um, as a product of a social group long marked as less than, less cultivated, less deserving, more backward, more belligerent. What's more, this self-revelation would come via a book-length defense of working class culture and critique of the dominant middle class. I was about to bite the hand that fed me. So many times I tried to think of another book topic, but in my head, this one just kept turning up like a bad penny. I gazed at the prospect that all I had managed to attain, the privileged platform I enjoyed for my arguments and ideas as a scholar, the goodwill of my academic colleagues and organizations, all of that was about to go down the drain because I was bound and determined to write this book and couldn't talk myself out of it. And then something happened. Along came the 2008 global economic crisis. A crippling disaster for poor and working class families. But ironically, it served to help me and my book. Why? because it meant that class was once again a serious topic of discussion, more serious than it had been in years. And by the way, one lesson I learned from all this is you never know what's around the corner in this life. But to cut to the chase, I finished my book and I published it and little by little I heard from readers and reviewers and I learned that other people were also thirsting for the conversation I had insisted on raising. 
Ever since the book was released, I've been hearing from people, not only students and colleagues, but strangers, who tell me how important my book and this dialogue is to them. Some because they relate to working class experience and welcome the chance to think about the larger structural factors that have shaped their lives and easing up perhaps on individual self-blaming. Others get in touch not because they relate directly, but because they come from more privileged positions and truly want to understand. How great is that? In, in both of those cases. And so out of a once lonely process, I have found meaningful new forms of community. So you might think that having written one article or one book would make it easier to write more. Good news, it, it actually does. But it also makes it possible to pose bigger and tougher questions. And that's just what we do, all of us. When you commit to any significant project, including a degree program at a major university, you take on risk, challenge, and uncertainty. You don't know how this all will turn out. You operate at the frontier, the limits of your current capacities, the limits of our current knowledge. And you push those limits farther ahead so that no matter how this project turns out, once you've finished, you have a new, more distant frontier ahead of you. This is how we all operate. This is how I know you all work. But for this week, at least, graduates, I urge you to celebrate with your families and friends and your professors Celebrate the goals you've worked toward, the limits you've reached for, and what you've learned from the process, including the surprises and the setbacks. And please recognize that our world needs you and what you have to offer. You have a first-rate education and credentials from the University of Michigan, and as a first-gen graduate, you also have special superpowers. You possess superpowers of translation and code switching. You are fluent in navigating different languages and worlds, each one of you. You possess superpowers of cultural flexibility. You know how to work effectively in diverse environments and communities. You probably have superpowers of empathy. Empathy for others who have to operate on unfamiliar terrain and perhaps outside their comfort zone, as you've had to do. And you have still other superpowers. Please think through this and construct your own list in the coming days. You have finished your time here, graduates, and you're transitioning into the next stage. For some of you, that will mean a job in your field or outside your field, uh, maybe career-related or maybe just paying the rent. It may mean more school or training. It may mean a change of scenery or a return to someplace familiar. Maybe you don't know what's next. And that's fine. Rest assured, you are not alone. But from this day forward, if you find yourself feeling out of place, if imposter syndrome rears its ugly head, if you begin to doubt yourself, go over your list of superpowers. Remind yourself of the rare and valuable qualities you bring to every situation, every job, because you are a first-gen graduate of the University of Michigan. And don't forget self-care. We know that as much as each of you has made great efforts to attain social 
economic and career mobility, that mobility itself takes a toll. Has anyone been warned about that? Mo mobility is hard. Mobility is exhausting. That mobility takes a toll in energy and effort and potentially alienation from familiar worlds and selves and, and, and peeps. So take time and remember to seek out your comfort zone. Restore and recharge in spaces and with people who see you and accept you and who at a core level make sense to you. Never forget how you drew strength and motivation from your mentors, peers, and loved ones, including the folks in this room. If ever for a moment you thought about giving up, you might have persisted because you didn't want to let these folks down. Now you've done it, earned your degree, once you turn in that last paper. It'll happen. Being first gen means you've had opportunities some of your family and friends may not share. And that can hurt. Um, by now you've been to places and had experiences that are different from what you knew before your Michigan education. Your extreme superpowers will come from the merging of all your experiences, all your knowledge from all the different worlds you know how to move in. You have been shaped by your education in a great university and deeply shaped by the people who came out this evening to celebrate this milestone in your life. We're all rooting for you. We're so proud of you and this world needs you and your special talents. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you. Dr. Sellers, thank you for telling us the value first gens bring to U of M. Gabby, thank you for telling us what it takes to be first gen. And Dr. Hubbs, thank you for telling us that trailblazing doesn't stop after graduation. It is now time to honor the graduates. Yeah. So I have a couple people helping me. So. Carol will be helping uh, me release folks to come up and get a cord. You'll hear a couple more instructions from us, but for now you need to identify Carol. So Carol, can you raise? Okay. Um, Dwight and Anita. Anita is the incoming president of the First Generation Student Org, FGCS. So Dwight and Anita, can you come up? Okay. So our tradition is to invite graduates to come up to the stage. Graduates say their name and their major, and they can share a message to their families. Graduates, there's a lot of you, so you need to keep it very, very short, okay? You can say, I'm a Don Hussein, I graduated in education, go blue. Okay, I'm kind of kidding. You can also say, Thank you, mom and dad, et cetera, right? But just keep it as short as possible so that everyone gets the chance to say something. So graduates, Carol will tell you when to stand and she will release people by rows, okay? So keep an eye on Carol. You will walk over, come up from this side, say your name, your major, and then Dwight and Anita will cord you, okay? This is not a speech. This is not something to get worked up about. Every year this goes really well, so don't think too hard about this, okay? But in order for this to go smoothly, I will need the room to be quiet, okay? 
All right, so we'll get the initial group of students lined up. All right, again, it's important for y'all to keep it down so that we can hear every speaker and we can go through this quickly. Okay, all right. Hi, my name is Lisette Sanchez and I'm a first gen and I major in microbiology. Good afternoon, I'm Christopher Corbett. I'm graduating for my master's degree with urban and regional planning, and I'm from Chicago. Blue Talo Sanifu, go blue. Everyone, my name is Sharice Wilkins. I'm graduating with a dual master's degree um, from the Ross School of Business, my MBA, and the Ford School of Public Policy with my MPP. I was a first generation undergraduate student and I earned my bachelor's in sports medicine from Howard University. Good evening, everyone. Michael Barnes, uh, MBA from the Ross School of Business. Just want to say, Mom, I made it. Hi, everyone. My name is Diana Cruz. I am a graduating MBA student. I'm a first generation undergraduate student also, and I'm so happy uh, to have so many of you in front of me. And I want to thank my community and my family for getting me here. Hi everyone, I'm Taylor Matson. I'm also a graduating MBA. I'm also first gen undergrad in marketing and professional sales. Just want to say congratulations to everybody and we did it. Everyone, I'm Chris Franks, graduating MBA. I'm also a first-gen undergrad in mathematics. Go Blue! Hello, everyone. My name is Natalie Flores. Uh, I'm originally from Peru. I am a graduating MBA student from the Ross School of Business. I'm also a first-gen undergrad from Smith College. Thank you. My name is Mohamed Cabria, uh, majored in electrical engineering. Uh, congratulations, everybody. Hi, everyone. I'm Rima Mia. I am graduating with a BBA and a minor in community action and social change. And good luck on your next adventure. Thank you. Hi, I'm Brianna Wells. I'm graduating with majors in linguistics and cognitive science. Hi, I'm Shadé Sutherland. I'm graduating with a master's in molecular, cellular, and developmental biology. I am from Jamaica, and I just want to say, Mom, thank you for all your sacrifices. For everyone else out there, anything that you believe in, you can absolutely do. Hi, everyone. My name is Desmond Reins. I'm graduating with a BSc in Aerospace Engineering. Mary Cruz Amora, and I am earning my Bachelor of Science in Software Engineering, 
and I want to thank my family, friends, and mentors for being with me in this journey. Thank you. Hi, my name is Grace Lindemann. I'm graduating with a major in business. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Good evening. My name is Carl Buchanan II. I'm graduating with my doctorate in dental surgery. Go Blue! Hi everybody, I'm Tiana Morgan. I'm graduating with my master's in public health and I want to say congratulations to all of my peers. Watch out world, here we come. Hello, I am Chanel Heslop. I'm graduating with a master's in health service administration and I want to say thank you to my family and friends and the community that helped me get here. Forest. I'm graduating with a Bachelor's of Arts in Sport Management with a minor of Law, Justice, and Social Change, and I just wanted to say thank you to my family and friends. Hi everyone, my name is Colleen Chong, and I'm graduating with a dual degree in Biopsychology, Cognition, and Neuroscience, and a BBA from the Ross School of Business, and I'd like to say thank you to all the moms and dads here who support everyone. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Gao. I am graduating with a degree in biopsychology, cognition, and neuroscience, and go blue! Hello everyone, my name is Nadia Farha. I'm graduating with a bachelor's in dental hygiene, and I just wanna say, look mama, I made it. <laughs> Hi, my name is Noor Khan. I'm also graduating with a Bachelor's of Dental Hygiene, so go blue. <laughs> that was hard. Hi, I'm Gabriela Paniagua. Y'all know everything, so I don't have to say much. Thanks. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Yvonne Navarrete. I'm graduating with a bachelor's in public policy and I just wanna say that we have and will continue to come for everything they said we couldn't have. Hello, my name is Alexis Gonzalez and I'm graduating with the major in English for secondary education and go blue. My name is Heather Hunt, and I'll be graduating with a major in psychology, and I just want to say thank you to my family, and congrats, everyone. Hi, my name is Holly Trula, and I'm graduating with a doctorate in immunology, and I'm also a first-gen for undergraduate in biology. Thank you. I'm Daphne Cantuba, and I'm graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry and a minor in Creative Writing. Hello, my name is Claire Denton Grinchick. I'm graduating with my BA in Psychology, and they told me to do it in four years, and I did it in three. Thomas Hardy, I'm getting a bachelor's in public health, and uh, that's all I've got. Thanks. Hi, I'm Caroline, Master in Environment and Sustainability, and I'm also first generation undergrad. Good afternoon, my name is Lorena Cortez, and I'm getting my master's degree in conservation ecology, and I would like to thank my friends and family for always supporting me. Good 
Good evening, everyone. My name is Kristen Peltz. I am graduating with my bachelor's in dental hygiene. I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, and the rest of my family and friends for their support, and go blue. Hi, my name is Kate Austin. I'm graduating with a BA in Women's Studies, and I just wanted to say thank you to my mom and dad. Hi, my name is Caitlin Hudlow. I'm graduating with my bachelor's in kinesiology. Thanks, Mom. Hi, everybody. My name is Lindsay, um, and I'm graduating with my master's in social work. And I want to thank God and also thank my parents and my family for bringing me here today. Hi, my name is Waverly Baron Gubbovy. I'm graduating with a BA in political science, women's studies, and a minor in intergroup relations. Um, I'm really happy to be here today. I still have some assignments left, so good luck to those of you that do, and congratulations for those of you that don't. Um, hello, my name is Guadalupe Ventura, and I'm majoring with um, a degree in elementary education. And I want to say thank you to my family back home, especially my mom and dad, and to my family on campus. Without all of them, I wouldn't make it here today. So thank you. Hi. <laughs> my name is Michelle Martinez, and I'm graduating in biopsychology, cognition, and neuroscience. And I just want to say I'm very proud and grateful for my community that I've established here and also back home with all the support. Hi, my name is Jacqueline Delgado, and I'm graduating with a <laughs> major in communication studies and minor in entrepreneurship. And I want to say, Vamos Azul! Hi, everyone. My name is Heriberto Gonzalez, and I'm receiving my BA in BCN with a minor in linguistics. And I want to say thank you to my family back home and my friends and family here. Hi everyone, my name is Isenia Sandoval. Oh, well, I'm really close. Um, I'm studying political science and history, and I just want to thank my parents who couldn't be here today for all their hard work and sacrifices. Thanks to them, I'm on this stage, and also, vamos azul. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Jasmine Mercado. I'm a graduating. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm graduating with a BA in political science and sociology with a concentration in law, justice, and social change. And I, oh my God, hi Jeff. I just want to thank all my family, friends, mentors, educators, and everyone that's helped me get to this stage today. This was hard work, but we made it, y'all. Good evening, everyone. I'm Haley Richardson, and I'm graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Biology, Health, and Society in Southeast Asian Studies. And I would like to say thanks to my mom, dad, granny, and grandma Goldie for being here tonight. Good evening, everyone. I am Lloyd Mercier, and I'm graduating with a Bachelor's of Science in Neuroscience. And I just wanted to say maraming salamat to my family here and to my family in the Philippines. Hi, my name is Kailana. I want to first and for firstly thank God, thank my friends, thank my family, thank everyone who got me to this position I'm in now. Um, I'm graduating with a bachelor's in psychology and I'm going to continue my schooling and nursing. Good evening, everyone. My name is Ashley Anderson. I'm graduating with a degree in political science and Afro-American African studies. And I want to thank my mom, dad, and my sister for always supporting me. Hello, my name is Khadijah Williams. I want to 
say thank you to everyone, literally my friends, Black U Mish, Delta Gamma Phi, Michigan's only pre-law sorority, okay? Um, <laughs> and I am graduating with a bachelor's in arts for history. And yeah, I'm a freshman. Close enough. Okay. Hi, my name is Brianna Williams. I'll be graduating with a Bachelor's of Arts in Social Theory and Practice and a minor in Community Action and Social Change. Um, and I just want to thank everyone who's been part of my support system this entire time because I couldn't have done this without you. My name is Sydney Hill. I'm from Detroit. I will be graduating with a Bachelor's of Arts in Sociology with a minor in Community Action and Social Change. And I would just like to thank my family, all of my friends who've been supporting me throughout these four years, and I just want to say thank you again. Hi, everyone. My name is Chelsea Thompson, a.k.a. Fancy. Thank you. You guys are making me blush. All right, um, shout out to my family, God, my friends, the people that I've met here, and also the people that I've grown up with at the Eastern Market. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Vincent Rogers. I'm graduating with a Bachelor in Psychology. And I just want to say thank you for everything, and go blue. My name is Madison O'Donnell. I'm graduating with my bachelor's in biopsychology, cognition, neuroscience, and I just wanted to say thanks, mom and dad. Love you guys. <laughs> hey, everyone. Uh, my name is Allie Mann. I'm graduating with an elementary and education degree. I just want to say thank you to God, my mom, my dad, my Omi, and my grandma uh, for all the support they gave me. Thank you. Hey y'all, I'm Shannon. I'm graduating with a bachelor's in psychology and women's studies. And I just want to shout out to all the families that made it out tonight and also all the families like my own that couldn't make it out, but they're always back home supporting us. So thank you. Hello, I'm Francisco Gallardo, um, also known as Paco. Um, I'm graduating with the Bachelor of Science in Information with a concentration in user experience design. And I just want to say, um, regardless of everyone in here, um, if you're a first gen or not, I hope you continue to blaze the trail that you want to be, be on. Thanks. I'm Jocelyn Marchok, and I'm graduating with a BSc in chemical engineering uh, with a concentration in sustainable engineering. And I'd really like to thank my friends, family, especially my mom for being here and supporting me through my life. Hi, you guys. My name is Cindy. I'm majoring in psychology. All I want to say is thanks, Amai Papa. My name is Tori Turpin. I'll be graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Biopsychology, Cognition, and Neuroscience. And I just want to say thanks to my friends. You guys are the reason I'm here. Uh, hey, y'all. My name is Dmitry Um I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Um, I uh, am getting a degree in history and religion. And a quick shout out to immigrant parents who could have done it without y'all. My name is Renee Lyons. I just finished yesterday my BS in microbiology. Yeah! Um, and I just want to shout out Stanwood, Michigan, my awesome friends back there and over there. Um, and go blue! Hi, 
Hi everyone, my name is Francesca Gandini. I was a first generation undergraduate and today I'm getting a master in post-secondary science education and a PhD in mathematics. I wanna say grazie alla mia famiglia and I wanna say I'm really happy to see some of my students here. You did very well, thank you. My name is Giovanna Accardo. I'm graduating with a bachelor's in communication studies. I just want to thank my mom for always answering my phone calls at 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, hi, I'm Justine Zell. I studied BCN and German in my time here. Uh, there's a lot of people I want to thank, but I think the people who deserve it the most are my mom, my dad, and my sister, and especially my mom who drove an hour out here in this lovely rainy day to come see you. Hi everyone, my name is Miranda Hartman and I'm graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Go Blue! Hey guys, I'm Ian Sharp, uh, getting a Bachelor's in Environmental Science and I want to say, Speed Ohio State this year! <laughs> Hey, I'm Vladimir Potiweski, uh, getting a master's in information. Um, go blue. Hi, everyone. My name is Novia Wong. Um, I'm graduating with a master in information. Congratulations, everyone. We did it. I'm Tammy Nguyen. I'm also graduating with a Master in Information, and I'd like to thank all of my friends and family who supported me, and I hope that I can do the same for others in the future. Hi, my name is Tiffany Nguyen. I'm graduating with a Bachelor's in Elementary Education. I just want to say gamong mea and wish me luck as I teach middle school. Sally Ron and I'm graduating in a Bachelor of Science in Earth and Environmental Science and forever go blue. Hi everyone, my name is Tiana Huang. I'm graduating with a Bachelor's in Community and Global Public Health. And I want to say thank you to my family for allowing me to be the first to graduate. Forever go blue. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Van. I'll be graduating with a BA in Psych and Gender and Health, and uh, thanks to everyone who got me to where I am today. Hi, my name is Victoria Thatch. I'm graduating with a BA in Psychology, and I'm minoring in Community Action and Social Change, and also Asian Pacific Islander American Studies. That's a lot. I'm so sorry. Um, but my parents are here, but come and bama, and that's it. Yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Peter Goko. I'm graduating with my Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. My mom always wanted to be a nurse, so mom, this degree is for you. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Lopez. Uh, I just want to thank my mom and family, and forever, forever, vamos azul. My name is Nicole Smith, and I'm graduating with a bachelor's in anthropology with minors in music and art history. Go Blue! Hi, my name is Alyssa Fabrizio. I'm graduating with my bachelor's in history, and I just want to th say thank you to God and my mom and my dad and my Aunt Cindy. Hi, my name is Joe Chen. I am from Taipei, Taiwan, and I'm graduating with my bachelor's in mechanical engineering. Hey, I'm Alex Lesage. Um, I'm graduating with a bachelor's in aerospace engineering, minors in physics, music, and theater lighting. Um, and I'm thankful to my parents, my family, um, and my friends. And uh, yeah, especially to, to the Lord Jesus. Um, my plans are many, but he establishes my steps. Hi, everyone.
everyone, my name is Katie Pispinen. I'm graduating with a Bachelor's of Science in Microbiology, and go Blue! Hey everyone, my name is Will Sturdivant. I'm graduating from U of M Medical School. And to my family, thank you for the continued support. Really appreciate it. Hey everybody, my name is Angelica Chizoba Okorum. Um, I am graduating with a master's in space systems engineering with a certificate in entrepreneurship. Um, I just want to say congratulations to everybody, but a special shout out to those Detroit grads. I see y'all right here. Hey everyone, my name is Christian McDonald. I'm getting a master's degree in molecular, cellular, and developmental biology. Uh, thank you to God, uh, my family, and being from Miami, Florida, I need to thank my amazing friends for giving me a home here in Ann Arbor. Hi everyone, my name is Michelle Azar. I'm a soon-to-be two-time grad of the University of Michigan, um, finishing with my master's degree in microbiology, and I want to say thank you first and foremost to God and also to my parents who couldn't be here today for coming to the U.S. and being able to give me the life that they no weren't able to have. Hello everyone, I'm uh, Takahito Kohara, I'm originally from Japan, and I uh, want to say special thanks to my wife and my baby. <laughs> yeah. And I hope she will come back and you am a student in the future. Go <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Michael Volyanyuk. I'm from Brody, Ukraine, and I'm a student athlete here on the men's wrestling team graduating in neuroscience. Um, thank you to my friends, family, and coaches. Without you guys, it wouldn't be possible. Hi, everyone. My name is Carolina Rojas Ramirez, and live long and prosper. Vamos Azul! Masters in chemistry. Yeah. Hello, my name is Guadalupe Banales, and I'm getting my master's in global automotive manufacturing engineering with an emphasis on electrification of vehicles. And uh, I would like to thank my fiance that's here with me today, and I'm looking forward to marrying you in 30 days. Um, hello, my name is Lisa, and I'm getting ready to collect my degree in International Studies. Um, I want to honor the sacrifices of all the powerful women before me and uplift the dreams of all the powerful women that are going to come after me. Hi everyone, my name is Jasmine Mendoza. I'm graduating with a Bachelor in Business. So I just want to say, wishing you all of you guys the best of luck. Uh, let's kill it. Hello everyone, um, I'm Andre Fisher, uh, I studied um, economics and entrepreneurship and I just want to say thanks to my mom and God and all my wonderful friends who helped me and kept me centered in my time here at Michigan. Thank you all. Good evening, everyone. My name is Carlos Henderson, graduating with a Bachelor's of Sociology with a concentration in Health and Medicine. Watch out where we're grown now. Hi, everyone. I'm Richard Chong. I'm graduating with a, graduating with a dual degree in uh, neuroscience and ecology, evolution, and biodiversity. Uh, in the wise words of Drake, started from the bottom, now we're here. My name is Star Bielk. I'm graduating with a degree in film, television, and media studies. And all I want to say is congrats to everyone here because we finally did it. Hi, I'm Jeff Brooks. As of today, I officially did four years with a 4.0, so I'm excited. But I just wanted to say thanks to my mom. She raised me without my dad around, really, and I'm here because of you, so I love you. Hi, everyone. 
my name is Brianna Seeley. I'm getting. <laughs> um, I'm graduating with my master's in ecology and evolutionary biology. And let me tell you, the blessings do not stop there. Um, I am a National Science Fo Foundation fellow, and I will be getting my um, PhD at the University of Texas Austin. Thank you, Mom. Hi, my name is Amy Dow. Um, I'm graduate. Graduating. graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering, and I want to give thanks to my family and a special shout out to that episode of Game of Thrones last night. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Emily Liu, and I'll be graduating with a Bachelor's in Electrical Engineering, and I just wanted to say thank you mom, I wouldn't be here without you. Hi everyone, my name is Tassine Malik and I'm graduating with my BSE in Civil Engineering and I just want to congratulate everyone on your achievements and I hope you guys continue to do greater things. Hi everyone, my name is Bahmira Ahmed and I'm graduating with my bachelor's degree in biomolecular science and congrats to all my fellow graduates. Hi everyone, my name is Mandy Wong. I will be graduating with my master's in biostatistics. I want to thank my family, friends, and my two cats for helping me get through school, and congratulations everyone here tonight. Hi everyone, my name is Kevin Liao. I'm also graduating with a master's in biostatistics, and I want to thank my parents, my friends, and my dog Penny. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Katherine Schkopp. Um, I'm graduating with the Bachelor of Science in Evolutionary Anthrobio with a minor in Religion. Thank you to everyone who supported me throughout my life. Congrats to the fellow graduates. Special shout out to the first generation Americans in the room. Thank you. Yes. Woo! And in the wise words of Eminem, I saw some kids, so this will be clean. Success is my only mother frickin' option. Failure is not. My name is Kayla Hobby. I'm graduating with a BS in the environment, and just thanks everyone for being here tonight. My name is Allie Mangus. I'm graduating with a double major in psychology and women's studies, and I have a minor in criminal justice. Thank you all so much for being here and supporting us. <laughs> Um, my name is Kennedy Shuck. I'm graduating with a BS in Biopsychology, Cognition, and Neuroscience. And I may have learned to navigate this university alone, but my family has been my compass for everything else. So thank you to them, and congratulations to you. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Crystal Valle, and um, I'm getting my bachelor's in community and global public health, and I just want to say um, gracias mamá, papá y gemela por, to um, por todo su apoyo. Hi everyone, my name is Tatiana Cuevas. I'm getting a um, bachelor of science from Program the Environment and a minor in oceanography, and I want to thank my five younger siblings for being my driving force for my education. My name is Shushmita Boito. I'm graduating with a Bachelor of Science with, in BCN, and I'd like to thank the generations that have come before me, and I'm hopeful for the future ahead of us. Hi, everyone. My name is Miriam Rita. I'm graduating as a double major in biopsychology, cognition, neuroscience, and creative writing. Um, Mom, Dad, I owe you the world. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Nayra Milanovic. I'm graduating with a bachelor's in biomolecular science with a minor in Bosnian, Croatian, Serbian. And I just wanted to say thank you to my friends and family. Uh, I'm Kennedy Willette. I'm getting my bachelor's in English with a minor in art and design. And yeah, we did it. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Micaela Samarron. Uh, I'm graduating with a degree in International Studies, Spanish, and a minor in Latin American and Caribbean Studies, and Si Se Puede. Hi, I'm Mallory Ruggieri. I'm graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree in Philosophy. I want to thank my family and friends, and especially mom and dad. Couldn't have done it without you. Go Blue. My name is Ani Lukasinski. Um, I'm graduating with a BA in English and two minors in business and dance. Um, my mom left behind her dream of attaining an education in order to come to this country, and she's here tonight. So I just want to say thank you for all that you've done in helping me attain mine. Um, it doesn't read off as simply as go blue, but <laughs> Hi, my name is Leanne, and I'm graduating in BCN, and I want to shout out my aunt, who's also a graduate from U of M, my mom and dad, and my sister bet me $20 that I would not shout her out, and this is me telling you that I'm graduating, and I'm done with school, and I'm not writing your papers anymore. Hi everyone, my name is Michelle Liu. I will be graduating on Saturday with a double major in International Studies and Political Science and a double minor in Sustainability, Energy Science and Policy. Um, just wanted to just give a huge shout out to all the instructors, the staff, all of my advisors that have helped me reach where I am today. And especially I want to thank my parents for gifting me the luxury of choosing to pursue my passion. So thank you and go blue. My name is Yi Wei Bao. Um, I'm graduating with my master's in bioinformatics medical school. And I got my bachelor's degree in Michigan, and I'm staying in Michigan for a, C for a PhD degree in computer science engineering. So forever go blue. Hello, everyone. My name is Selena de Figueroa Dusso, and I am completing my master's in management through the Ross School of Business. And I just want to say, thanks, Mom. This is all for you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Julia Garner. I will be obtaining a um, Bachelor's of Science in Aerospace Engineering. I'd like to thank my mom, my grandfather, my little sister, and my partner for supporting me through this journey. Thank you. I'm Alyssa Abate, receiving my bachelor's in communication, and I want to say thank you, Mom and Daddy. I love you. Hi, everyone. My name is Jake Ignacek. I'm earning my graduate uh, bachelor degree in sport management. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for all your support, and go blue. So I apologize for the brief um, announcement, but if you were not sitting in a reserved area and are graduating, this is your time to line up if you were in the back to get a cord. Hi everybody, my name is Dennis March. I'm graduating with a bachelor's in mechanical engineering. It took an act of God, so I'd like to thank God first. They said four years, it took me about 30, but I'm glad to have been done with it. It's never too late. Don't ever give up. It's never too late. I'd like to thank my wife, Donna, my son, Maxwell. Uh, now I'm going to Ross for an MBA, executive MBA program. Thank you. I should be done with that in 2055. Thank you. Hi, everybody. My name is Travis Berge. I'm graduating with a Bachelor's of Science in Physics. And I just want to thank my entire family for allowing me to become a trailblazer, especially my mom who's in the audience and my dad who couldn't be here tonight. Thank you. Hi, 
everyone, my name is Kimberly Leggett. Um, I'm graduating with a bachelor's in sociology with double minors in community action and social change with a, with a certificate in poverty solutions, action and engagement and music. Um, and I'd like to thank my friends and family for everything. I wouldn't be here without your support. My name is Olivia Siori. I'll be graduating with my BA in Spanish Language and Literatures, and I would like to give a big shout out to my family and friends who have supported me for the past four years. Couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. Hi, my name is DNG. I'm graduating with a Bachelor in Chemical Engineering, and I just want to say thank you. Next. I'm graduating with a doctor of nursing practice with an adult general acute care nurse practitioner designation. So, let me say. <laughs> My name is Terry Vrooman, and I too am graduating with a doctorate of nurse practice and with a concentration in acute care. Go blue. Go blue. Hi, good evening. My name is Jonathan Vonks. I am graduating with a doctor of nursing practice as well as a adult gerontology acute care nurse practitioner. Refugee to a doctor degree has been a long journey. Go blue. <laughs> What an incredible graduating class. Let's give a hand with them. Yes. <laughs> Graduates, once again, congratulations. As you wrap up your final few days at U of M, make sure to take a moment to pause, take in your time here, and to give gratitude to the people around you. Congratulations and go blue. <laughs> Grab an extra cookie if you see it on your way out. <laughs> well, we are at the end of our program. Thank you again.